Hi, it's Redheaded Riding Hood here, red for short. I'm gonna read you William Barclay's Daily Celebration, Debt to Life. By the time he was 33, words lay open to Albert Schweitzer for the conquering. Three worlds lay open to Albert Schweitzer for the conquering. And it was then that he embarked upon a course of six years of medical training, which was to be the prelude to his life work in his hospital in Lambering. By the time he was a doctor of philosophy and a brilliant academic career was his for the taking, by the time he had studied the organ under Charles Marie Witter of Paris, and young as he was, he was the foremost authority on the music of Bach. By the time he was a doctor of theology and he was already principal of the theological college at Strasbourg with an attractive residence, a good stipend in it, the prospect of an honorable and brilliant career as a theological teacher and thinker, it was then that he took the road that ended in Lamborghini. It was not a sudden decision. It was a decision that went back to a summer morning full of happiness and beauty at Gunsbach nine years before. On that morning, as Schweitzer tells, there came to me as I awoke the thought that I must not accept this happiness as a matter of course but must give something in return for it. Certain things stand out in the life of Schweitzer. One is this, Schweitzer had a sense of responsibility. He did not think, what do the world and life owe me? He thought, what do I owe the world and life? We are living today in an age which demands its privileges, which in fact, takes its privileges as rights. People today think a great deal about what the world, the country, the state, and life owe them. Life owes them, as they see it, an education for nothing when they are young, a job when they are older, housing better than they are willing to pay for, help to bring up their children, care and attention when they are ill, are old, are out of work. Make no mistake, these are things which the state does owe its citizens, and these are the things which life should bring to every man, but what of the reverse process? The debt can not, not all be on one side. We cannot go on and on taking and taking out of the common store without putting anything back into it. It is time we thought of what we owe life as well as of what life owes us. That reminds me of what um, JFK said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. <sighs> Anyways, I had a good day. I, um, I got coffee and a burrito with a friend that I met at the Switchfoot Getaway that I found out lived in lived here in Denver so that was that was good and I'm gonna let y'all go don't say that no one cares for you because I do and God does too don't forget to pray for red because red is praying for you bye